Okay, so next is the next and walk from empty markers. Okay, so for the next, um, it's interesting. Um, so I will use Bollinger band strategy here. So what is Bollinger band strategy? It's basically I anticipate already here because this is huge, uh, you know, candle with strong volume. So as long as the counter follow through this uh, candle, right? Uh, you know, we anticipate the rally to continue, lah, right? Um, and this counter already go out a lot, right? So, um, so it's it's not like early stage of a uh, rally, okay? So this let, let me mark this as rally, right? Rally signal. Okay, so for us to play this counter, um, we still can play this counter, but um, if you want to be safe, right, try to enter uh, when the price inside the Bollinger Band, right? Um, I think this one, you can also use Bollinger Band uh, standard duration one as your support. So um, try to enter between this area or this area. Okay. Um, yeah. Then use this as price support lah. So the idea is um, this counter gain uh, momentum to ready, and the next next candle is follow through with huge momentum is going to stay overbought. Not necessarily bad thing. Alright. It's good thing because the momentum is there. Um, yeah. So. It is just that if you want to have a safer entry, um, we should enter, you know, inside Bollinger Band so that we have like a, a lower risk um, to monitor, lah, right? So uh, another support level that is I think quite uh, important, right? Is this level? Um, yeah. So you can monitor this price. Lah. I think just make it, uh, yeah, eight three five. So another good setup and another good thing about the next is the setup because if you see the candle right it won't go lower than previous low so my point is as long as the price continue to stay above previous low you can basically play this counter still um yeah try to enter between 485 or 45 or you know just 46 also consider okay um but this is ready Approach quite approaching the resistance, quite near resistance already. Um, yeah, but looking at the momentum of this, we can short trade first and um, anticipating a retracement or whatnot, right? You see if the price still maintain above the Bollinger Band standard duration one and above, right? My point is this line and above. I think this counter, you know, still have have uptrend daily lah right the uptrend daily still in play so you can take advantage of that um maybe for some people this is already quite risky it's okay right wait for retracement to entry or more just monitor for a few more candle right uh, for this really to create a you know a lower high sorry higher low right <laughs> to create a higher low okay so um, and you can use you can mark you can use the higher low as benchmark right for your trend um, for this ready right so this is interesting content i will monitor this uh, will you know i might going to trade this but you know see see um, how the development is like okay right so next is wall so for Wong, um, for Wong, I think this is a risky entry already, right? Um, because it's testing the resistance. I think if you want to see a true resistance, maybe you can use a uh, you know, point and figure or something, right? Okay, so um, it's already break out the resistance. So now, you know, creating a higher high so um, this counter is interesting but a bit risky lah, I would say right just make sure that the price trade uh, 
in between this standard deviation one and standard deviation two, I think uh, good to go lah. You can treat this counter with a proper strategy. I think lah, right? Um, yeah, but with the volume, everything, I think this this quite good pick lah, right? Wong. Um, and next we continue with tax. Eh, sorry, we continue with tax gap. Lah. This is another interesting counter, right? Yeah, Marcus, you pick a very uh, I think quite interesting counter lah. All these three counter, I think, is very interesting. So this is why why this is interesting because um, sorry. Why this is interesting? Because we have this huge um, candle. Okay, so what we we can apply here? All right. So first, we take a look at our raw trend. Right. Um. There's a huge resistance over here. Okay. Uh, around this area, but I think still okay to play. Right. Um. We mark this as our resistance. Right, the closest resistance to the current price. So, why I think this is interesting because we basically can play, uh, can play uh, box trading strategy. Okay, so if you see this candle, this is a uh, Morobozu candle, right? Full Morobozu candle, okay, with huge, um, with, with huge volume and also. Bigger than previous previous candle, okay. So um, this is uh, this is good candle, all right. I mark this as uh, sorry this one. Oh, sorry, I mark this as uh, Marubozu, right? Okay. So what is box trading? Um, basically, Marubozu. Uh, a candle with highest volume and highest momentum okay followed by uh, you know followed by red candle here so uh, we can use this one to 50 percent of the candle right uh, for the anticipation of uh, retracement right um, i think around this area or this area is good lah, right so uh, we anticipate a retracement because of T plus 0, T plus 1, T plus 2. Okay. Um, can buy on dip. Um, if the price break lower than this box, you can, you know, exit your position. Okay. So try to find good entry closer to the support um, for you to buy on dip. Or if you touch this support, uh, you can you can consider to buy. Lah, right. So basically, if you look at lower time frame what we actually trying to play here right is this one okay sorry people energy achieve retracement oh, I put here. okay so key this one okay yeah so Okay, the support is not here. Actually, one, two, three. Fifty percent lah, basically fifty percent. So what we trying to play here is like we want to you know, um, take the tip at zero point five Fibonacci, or basically if you look at box trading strategy, you want to take, uh, we want to try to play position closer to middle of the body. Um, considering this is T plus 0, T plus 1, T plus 2, right? T plus 3, we might see the counter to continue to go up. Okay. So, um, yeah. And follow through this support, lah, right? As long as the price maintainable be support, right? It's good to go, right? You can still hold this position. Um, up to, you know, this TP, this, this is basically first TP. Okay. Um, yeah, this is basically first TP that you can. Uh, in terms of risk to reward, I'm not really sure, but if you buy around this price, like right, what, two, three, four, maybe you cut loss at what, one to one to one to one, 
um, and take profit at one three six, right? So this good, this to what ratio. This is very good to this to what ratio. So, um, yeah, I interested with this counter. I'll monitor this for short term trade. Um, so thank you, uh, Marcus, and actually thank you everyone for you know for requesting this counter. I'm trying to do this um, every day lah if possible. I right? uh, provide a video with technical commentary, um, and I expect you guys to also you know fill in the discussion right? uh, if you will under uh, if you understand uh, what I'm trying to say. If you have any question, or in fact, if you have a different opinion with me, right, or you even if you share the opinion with me, um, you can you know just provide your thesis, okay? So we can uh, take a look at bigger picture, lah, right? So uh, all in all, right, um, technical entry is important, but uh, managing your portfolio, right, money management, risk management is very important. So depend on how you anticipate the price to move based on your technical analysis, you should consider that into your you know entry and position sizing. So um, yeah, that's all.